Clemson is the whole house, isn't it? That's correct. The whole yard, the whole yard. Yes, from the lawn there, next to the yes, edge of the road. We, we decided even to uh, to swap. A Hello there guys and welcome to Daily Updates. Well, it's another day in court where Advocate Tifo is continuing with his business of grilling the witness. Now, it seems like Tefu decided to go back to the drawing board and study more on his business, on how he's going to be grilling the guy because last time he was a bit shaky. But this guy is the one who's making everyone be glued on their TV to make sure that they listen and see where the guy is going in terms of him cross-examining the witness. Now, I can tell you that today he was definitely on the spot to grill the witness. And without wasting any time, let's start with the video where he puts Chico on the map. Because all along, it was all about the accused, all about the witness, all about the scene. Now, he puts Chico Twala in the spot to include his name and it was very interesting. Please let's look at the video. The people in this house, the people in this house, the people in this house who were there when the incident happened, that past seven, eight, they didn't sleep in this house, they oh. left before you arrived, they went to sleep at Mr. Chikotola's house that night. They were not here. What do you say? Maybe that was after I was done with my crime scene until the morning uh, when, the, when, the, when the, the, the CSI team arrived at the crime scene, my lord. <laughs> This is Tefu bringing that name where nobody expected it. And now it shows that the possibility of most of the people that were uh, involved or that were rumored to have been involved in the case, we will slowly learn of their names, we will slowly hear of their names being mentioned. And one wonders where it goes from now because we want to find out if maybe Kelly will go to the stand and be able to become a witness of the state. That's when maybe the, the case can come up to a, a point where we can finally say we are going towards the truth. And never undermine uh, Tefu. He might have his antics, but the guy is definitely on to some point. And it looks like Tefu knows what happened. There is a version of uh, the state and there is a version of Mr. Tefu. Now, I can, I can tell you that definitely Tefu is on the side of saying my clients know nothing, but definitely Chico, Kelly and the others, they know what happened. Going on our next video, it is evident now that the judge is extremely unhappy with how Tefu is conducting himself. And Tefu noticed that he is taking advantage of that because he has been called to order so many times and he continues to say that by calling me to order you don't actually want me to do my work and in this next video you can just visibly see that the judge was just smiling say in his, in his head is probably saying this guy is taking chances uh let's watch the video that's correct my lord we have more footage in the team we have a photo of the other one so is it within you to confine me which question i must ask and which i mustn't ask you as a thesis, um, i don't think it's fair to ask that question the witness is here to give evidence the uh, the, the court personnel is here um, to decide what is relevant and what is not relevant they are definitely going to respect Tefu, whether they like it or not. Um, they might not take him serious, but respect, yes, they will. Because the guy seems like he has a mission and he's not going to be uh, pushed aside in order to comfort anyone. So he's on a mission and he's continuing with this road. In this next video, we are witnessing the excellence of Advocate Tefu. 
the man is not here to play, he's, he's here to ask serious questions. Many might uh, name him the UNISA lawyer, but the UNISA lawyer is definitely here for some serious questions. So he doesn't want anyone to waste his time or answer stupid questions. Listen to this. Uh, Mr. Msia, we don't have, I don't have a luxury. Even this court does not have a luxury of time for when you have to answer yes or no, you make in a paragraph. Did Ndlofu inform you, yes or no? Yesterday you were against... Uh, uh, I was not here yesterday. Yes, uh, before yesterday you were against <laughs> of me answering yes or no, and you, you were very cross to me of that. That's why I'm saying at times I'm not feeling comfortable now lately. Tell I, me about I repeat, don't forsake your zone of comfort. Stay in your zone of comfort as you answer questions. Answer questions as you know you should, um, and he will ask you any question. It has nothing to do with comfort or discomfort. <laughs> Mr. Tev is not here for paragraphs. I'm sure deep down the judge already has his own view of what the hell is going on here because he's definitely and visibly cross with how. Tefu is conducting himself and Tefu doesn't care. Tefu is here for business. He's been paid to protect his clients and he's going to do it, each and everything to protect them. So if you want to give him paragraphs, you might want to think again because he's not looking for that. Guys, let us go to the next video. Mr. Musia, be informed. I'm definitely not going to make you comfortable in the best interest of fighting the constitutional right of my client. You have been at the sea, and you are the right person. Don't expect comfortability from me. I'm not here to make you happy. Well, I suppose those comments, the last comments will be struck of the record. Yes, they are. I, I don't know. I don't know where we are going with them. And uh, it has been said the day before yesterday. He he, he loves it. He loves the f as, uh, announcing that he is not here to make people comfortable. <clears throat> I hope he is comfortable, but uh, he's repeating the same thing. Yay. I might not know the experience of Advocate Tefu, but he's behaving like a problem child. He's behaving like someone who doesn't have 10 years on his belt. And I mean, one can only learn with uh, doing mistakes and going through the years of practice. But Tefu is definitely doing things on purpose or he doesn't know the procedure that well. Because they keep telling him the same thing and he continues to do, even if they are telling him that we are not supposed to do one, two. Mr. Tefu is here to work, eh? Um, I'm not sure if it's only me, but it's, it's difficult to take Tefu serious, especially sometimes when he's uh, putting his point across. You, you can just laugh. I'm not sure how these guys in court are are putting straight faces when Tefu is talking. I'm particularly referring to this next video because I was definitely going to smile or laugh at what this guy is saying. It doesn't matter if it's a serious thing, but Tefu. Uh, just a word of advice, my dear brother, Monsieur. When I ask the question that need yes or no, or just a one line in order to respond, and then you respond in assignment, you invite more questions that you're not going to answer. Just confine yourself to my question. We will have the progress. I'll try to do so, my lord. All right. <laughs> Guys, this is the last video. But here's a, an advocate who says, can they let the witness speak in his own language? Because he seems not to understand the questions that are put to him, maybe because he doesn't understand English very well. The same advocate goes on, while explaining to say that uh, the scone theory 
while explaining. And then the same advocate was the one trying to say, you don't understand me because maybe you don't understand English that well. How about you use your own language? Until the judge said, uh, let him use whatever he's comfortable with. Watch this video. Hello, excuse me. I make a humble plea to can be maybe assisted. Maybe this witness, uh, maybe can be assisted in terms of the interpreter. I really find him that he's saving the problem with the language. It's not his language. This way. Is there a word he said wrongly? You definitely, I'm going south, he's going east. No, is there a word he misinterpreted or interpreted wrongly? He just doesn't understand the context of the questions. That gives me the, the understanding that, impression that uh, uh, the language is a problem. To whom? To the, inter uh, to, to the witness. Which language? English or the... I'm the talking English, uh, Your Lordship. So he doesn't understand me. By the virtue of the way he's giving the answers. So I just feel for him that if there can be, he can be... My uh, 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 question can be interpreted to him with his language. I don't know which language is he. Soto or... Sia. Let the court ask him. Sergeant Masia, do you have a problem of language? Uh, my Lord, I don't think I have a problem with the language. It might happen that maybe I don't match uh, advocate the force language. But unfortunately, my affidavit, everything that I'm doing, it is written in English. There's no way that I can pre present my evidence in my language, though I'm not qualified compared to him. A lot. Yeah. It's, it's not about me. It's about you understanding the questions. You are not answering the question. That's why at, at long last, uh, I'll feel like I'm repeating myself because you are not answering what you're supposed to answer in terms of the context of the question. So are you comfortable to continue with the English? I, I believe I'm answering most of the questions to my utmost best, my lord. Now I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure. I cannot be able to use my language, as I have to explain. Every my work is is being done with English, my lord. Yes, yeah, there you are. I say I should proceed. Proceed. You don't need the interpreter. No, I don't need any interpreter, my lord. And I hope you are going to answer my questions. Uh, can I be clear, uh, my lord, just for a moment? Never knowing uh, how uh, uh, Advocate D4 is expecting me to answer him. Maybe he can tell me how to answer him, my lord. Then it won't be your, an your, your answer. It won't be my answer, my lord. Yeah. I think that uh, concludes um, our summary of today's cross-examining of uh, the witness by Advocate Tefum. Um, we'll be watching closely on what goes on and hopefully update you guys with um, as the events go on. But uh, I definitely think there's a change of plan in Tefu, but of course... His mischievous, mischievous ways have not been left out. He, is, he continues to make sure that if he sees that this angle doesn't work, he comes up with another angle. Just like coming and saying that, I think you don't understand me. Maybe you should use your own language. And then goes on to say, that was the deal breaker for me. Because how on earth are you going to say while you criticize the witness that they don't understand? Anyway, guys, thank you for tuning in and please subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Cheers.